Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to approach analogous pairs. Now, this is a strategies videos, and this is part of the verbal section of the GAT or Qudarat exam. Now, this video is perfect for you if um, you just started Qudarat and you want to know the strategies before you jump right into the Tajmihat, which is just perfect. Or if you have a test coming up in a few weeks or very soon, and you need to learn the strategies, this is also perfect for you. So, uh, let's get right into the video. So we're going to start with uh, the um, with the strategy. So this is my set of rules on how to approach it. So first, what you have to do is identify the relationship that links the pair, the analogous pairs. And these are some example types of relationships. So it can be a part of a whole, uh, it can be synonyms or antonyms or class and member, cause and effect, problem solution, or gradation, either increased intensity or probably also can be decreased intensity. Uh, now, uh, let's move on to number two. So this is all just like a set of steps, like you do step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five in order to reach the answer. So number uh, step number two is to eliminate the obvious choices. Step number three is to compare the rest of the choices, and usually you would have two choices remaining. Um, step number four, you would identify the similarities and differences. And step number five, which is finally the last step, is to choose the closest fit to the relationship. Now, uh, let's see this. Uh, now, let's see these strategies in action. So this is basically just one strategy. And uh, maybe throughout your process, you might uh, skip one. Maybe you might skip identifying the similarities or differences. Uh, I don't recommend but sometimes like you just know the answer and when you just know the answer that's great just go ahead and choose it because it's just a very um you're gonna save so much time and then you're gonna be able to um solve it correctly now let's look at an example where where we where we can apply what we just learned these five steps now let's see it says nest and bird so first as we said we have to identify the relationship between the nest and the bird so what is the relationship a bird sits in a nest so the relationship is that bird is in nest okay it rests in the nest so we have to find the relationship which is in uh let's look at our choices does a sword because the bird goes in the nest so does the sword go in the uh, the sheath yes so this is a yes does a uh, library go in a book no this is a no why because a book goes in a library not the other way around so does teeth uh, go in a mouth yes we have two correct answers does a inkwell go in a feather no now we have two choices left so what we did was we now went through step one we identified the relationship Step two, we eliminated the obvious. Step three, we have to compare the choices and identify the similarities and differences. So, compare the choices. So, we know that a sword, a sword, we know that this, you can just think of this as a sword. It goes in a sheath. This is like kind of, I guess, the thing that you put a sword in. And then you have mouth and teeth, maybe, like this. Okay. So what is the difference between the, these two relationships? So the difference is that when you put a sword in the sheath, you can take it in and you can take it out. You can put it in the sheath and you can take it out of the sheath all the time. Uh, the teeth stays in a mouth. You can't take it out of the mouth unless like it breaks. So it's uh, the closest relationship to the bird in the nest is the sword and the sheath. Why? Because a bird... Um, because the bird can go in and out of the nest, likewise with the sword can go inside the sheath and out. So the best answer choice is A. Um, now we went through step three, which is compare, and then we identified the difference and similarities, and then we circled the best choice. So 
uh, we just finished the strategies videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more for the rest of the sections, um, stay tuned. You can email me if you have any questions about anything or any concerns. Uh, this is WizWorks. See you in the next video.